hello everyone thanks for watching this video so in this video basically today we are going to understand the factory patterns means what is the factory patterns and how to achieve the factory patterns in java okay so this is also a part of the creational design pattern same as the singleton but factory patterns have different behavior okay so what is the behavior of the factory design uh, factory design pattern or we can say how to create the factory design pattern so first thing is that factory design pattern will help you to get the on demand object means if you demand whatever the object you will demand that will factory design pattern will provide you the first definition is that it will give you the on demand object okay second thing is that it will provide you the object hiding the internal implementation so this is again the abstraction example of abstraction okay so this is the basically when we will ask the object details from the factory design patterns we will able to achieve the object from the client perspective but what is the internal implementation meaning how it got intensiated and what are the rule for intensiation that we can't able to see so basically that information is hidden so that is the only called the factory design pattern okay so now coming to the example that we are going to create to achieve the factory design pattern okay so for that we are following this example so first we will understand from top to bottom and then from we will understand from client perspective like bottom to top so business of this diagram is this guy wanted to learn a design pattern or this guy wanted to learn java 9 or this guy wanted to learn microservice from whom from a youtube channel called api pothi so that is the basic business of this design pattern so how to achieve using factory this is the another things okay so for that what we are doing is we will be having one interface which has one abstract method called learn from youtube but from java 8 onwards you can have a static and default implemented method as well as in java 9 you will be having private method implementation also inside interface so that you can customize your code depends upon the business requirement okay here we are basically talking about the plain concept of the interface so here we will be having one unimplemented method now coming to the implementation class so it has basically three implementation class first class is design pattern learning which implements again the api put interface followed by it has the java 9 learning and it also implements the api pothi and followed by it has the microservice learning and it is also implementing the api pothi interface so after implementing this interface it is it is getting overrided by the three one method called learn from youtube which are available in all the three implemented classes now here we are writing the business logic what learn from youtube method is doing okay that is the different thing now coming to the youtube factory so youtube factory have the information of this all three classes meaning design pattern learning java 9 learning and microservice learning now what are the information this youtube factory class have so nothing much it has the instance of these all all three okay so if client wanted to learn the design pattern so it has it shouldn't go and ask directly to design pattern it will first ask this youtube factory and this youtube factory is responsible to get the implementation of or get the data from the design learning pack design pattern learning now youtube factory is the, having the responsible how he will get it so client don't have to worry about that how i have to get the design pattern learning instance or how i have to get the java 9 learning instance or how i have to get the microservice learning this client is responsible just to ask from the factory method now factory method only has to worry 
how he has to get the object of this three matter. So this we understood from top to bottom and bottom to top and what is the business of this factory design pattern. Okay. Now coming to the coding section. So I have already designed the structure of the project. Here I will be having interface and it has one method called learn from YouTube as per diagram. If you see learn from YouTube. Okay. And then we will be having the implementation class like design pattern learning. Now we are going to implement this one here. Implements API OT. Okay. So here we are going to override the unimplemented method. Okay. So while overriding, we are going to print some log so that we understood that okay, this method is getting called from design learning. So I am learning design pattern okay from API Poti and URL is this one. Now what is the URL? We are also going to print the playlist URL here. So a string URL equal to this one and that we are going to get it from the our channel. So what exactly it is learning from design pattern. Okay. So we are coming to the one step back and we are hitting the design pattern playlist and we are copying the same. So here we are copying this one okay now we are done with the implementation of design pattern okay in the same way we are going to do the implementation of java 9 learning so for that implement api proti interface okay and after okay and after implementing we have to override the unimplemented method and for just for namesake we are going to print the url however we are going to change the url don't worry so this is the url so i am learning java 9 okay and then here i am going to get the java 9 url so here is the java 9 playlist so here you can copy this one and we have to paste into the here okay so log is i am learning java 9 from api pothi which is fine now now we have implemented design pattern we have implemented java 9 now it's chance for the microservices so again same way we are going to say implements api pothi okay and then we are going to override the learn from youtube method and here we are giving the our business operation so business operation is just that we are printing the url of playlist which is available in api pothi so here we are saying that learning microservice i am learning microservices from api pothi now we have to get the microservice url and here it is so I am printing the microservice URL. So somehow we are done with all the business things. Okay. So all the implementation done. So in PPT section, we are done with this one, this one and this one. Okay. Now our task is to design the factory. Okay. Now coming to the factory. So here is the YouTube factory. Okay. Now this YouTube factory is the responsible to have the instance of all this. So as per diagram, this YouTube factory has the instance of design pattern learning as well as Java 9 learning as well as the microservices learning. So for that we are going to write the method here. So we can say get learning URL. Okay. 
so in that get learning url so basi basically what client will ask is this client will ask i want to learn the microservice please get me the url from api pothi so get learning url this is asking since client also will ask i want to learn microservices or i want to learn java 9 or i want to learn design pattern so client has the option to pass the parameter so for that client is passing a string course name so course name parameter it is asking okay and that method we can say public okay now our next thing is that what is the return type of this one so basically public okay so basically this method is returning is responsible to return the instance okay now question is which instance it has to return so it has to return the design pattern instance it has to return the java 9 instance or it has to return the microservice instance okay basically it can youtube factory contain instance of all so it is not good idea to have the for this three three implemented class we have three methods so for that what we are going to do is we are just returning the parent class super class okay so we are keeping the return type api pothi if you will return api pothi design pattern java 9 and microservice learning automatically will come so now our task is to add the return type for now i am adding null okay later we will change accordingly okay now next task is that this course name we are getting from the user okay so what we will do is we will have one small check here if course name does not equal to null means it is not the empty string you can add more validation here okay if does not equal to null means something is coming from the user then do something here okay do something else means if nothing is coming from here please return the null as i told you you can handle the exception here okay i don't want to make this logic too much complicated okay now question is what he has to do obviously the task of this factory method is to get the instance or create the instance so for that what we are putting is again one check here f if if the course name means dot equal ignore case if the string name means user want to learn microservice okay then what we have to do is we have to provide the microservices instance okay so for that microservices learning okay this i am hard coding here you can also have a chance to create one enum and from enum you can get this okay so next task is that if user wanted to learn design pattern okay so for that we are going to return the design pattern instance okay fine and same way if user wanted to learn the java 9 or we can say that we have the instance of all so we can say java 9 okay so here we are going to return the java j a v a java 9 learning okay so basically what we are doing is we are intensiating all the implemented class like microservice learning design pattern learning as well as java 9 learning depends upon the parameter what we are receiving from the user if user want to learn java 9 so we are providing the java 9 instance if user want to learn the design pattern we are providing the design pattern instance if user want to learn the microservice we are providing the microservice instance so this is the basically factory okay now we are almost done now our main task is that client 
okay so as per this diagram we are done with the this concrete class already and we are done with the factory method also now our next task is to write the client for that so writing client is as simple youtube factory so here is the factory we are going to create the instance here factory equal to new youtube factory okay now with the help of this factory instance we are going to call the get learning url so now we are start asking means client is start asking get me the url of microservice so i don't want to do any typo mistake so i'm copying it here so microservices and then get sorry microservices and from here learn from youtube so this guy want to learn a microservices from youtube so it need the url so if you run this one as per our design we should be getting output as a url if you see i am learning microservice from api Poti and this is the microservice url okay same as other two also like this is the macro services and for design pattern and here it go design pattern okay now let's copy the java 9 as i already told you you can put this value into the enum also now if you will run you will get the all three implementation means you we are getting the macro services url as well as we are getting the design pattern url and as well as we are also getting the java 9 url so by seeing this four line of code what we understood is see this guy wanted to learn the microservices from youtube channel so he need the url so he got the url but this guy still don't know how this what is the logic to get this url means we are basically hiding the internal implementation this guy means client doesn't know how he got the microservice url and how he got the design pattern url as well as how he got the java 9 url so basically this is the first definition proof that it is hiding the our actual implementation and it's just providing the instance of that second thing is that it is also the on demand object means if user wanted to learn microservices so that is also fine so he need, he need not to call the design pattern or java 9 instance if he want to learn, learn the microservices and design pattern so he can call two times or if he want to learn the java 9 also so he want to call three times so this is basically giving you the proof of another definition that factory pattern is also called the on demand object means whatever demand you will ask that will only you are going to get it okay so if you run this one we are demanding for three url for three courses microservice design pattern java 9 and that we are getting it okay so this is all about the microservices sorry so this is all about the factory design pattern using java okay yeah thanks for watching this video